Hey folks, today is, I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, March 25th, 2014, and I just wanted to check in. Um, now that we've got the countdown to the bodybuilding competition, I think I really need to start getting even more serious. So I pulled out the bikini that I hope to wear in September, which is March, April. Well, really almost April. April to May, May to June, June, July, July to August, August. Okay, I have, I have five months to get my ish together to actually be in this, but I figured I'd go ahead and start showing you what I look like in it now and compare that to how I look in September. So here we go. I bought this bikini probably about, oh God, I want to say before the twins were born. I think I bought this thing about eight years ago. Um, at first I used to hang it on my wall as inspiration. And then as time went by and I figured I wouldn't lose the weight, then I'd put it back in the closet or shove it somewhere. But, um, I do look significantly better than I did the first time that I wore it, but obviously I've still got, you know, lots of areas I need to work on. Um, mainly obviously here, this roll in my stomach, I've got, let me come a little bit closer. I've, well, like I said, so these two little, I'm, I mean, what is this? You know what I'm saying? These two little fat tags right here, and this right here, and obviously my stomach that, you know, smiles, hey, how you doing? But, I mean, I've come a long way, and the fact that, because before when I used to wear this, to try it on to see how it looked, my body used to actually eat up the bikini. Like, when I put it on, it started to disappear. So, the fact that you could pretty much see the whole thing is pretty impressive. There are no fat rolls that are sucking up the bikini. So, I will be happy for small wonders at this point, um, but as you can clearly see... It is my midsection that needs the most work. Um, before I continue, I would like to take a moment of silence for my titties that have disappeared. Um, I think probably the only downside to my losing weight is that my breasts have gone from a solid C to like a B, maybe almost A-ish. So I have... Okay, I can't remember where I left off because my phone said I didn't have enough memory. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to be able to add this clip on to where I was going before. But I think I was talking about the Tatas. But yeah, so my boobs have gotten really small. So I've decided that for my 40th birthday, even though at first I said I would never ever have foreign objects in my body, I'm going to go ahead and get my boobs done. Um, and go back. I mean, look at that. Pancakes. I mean, there's nothing there. There's there's literally nothing there. Um Anyway, I'm probably going to go at minimum get back to the C, but I might even make myself a D cup, a small D, albeit a D. But, um, and so I think by that time I will have the money saved up and I'll really have a lot of this gone. Well, actually most of this needs to be gone by September. Well, all of it needs to be gone by September. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. As far as updates, I bought myself, let me go ahead and turn it back around. Oh, I can't change it right now. I bought myself a new piece of workout equipment, a suspension, which I'll show you later. And I also started making my own protein bars. I was really getting sick and tired of the garbage that was in other protein bars. So I um, started to make my own. So when I make my next batch, I'll go ahead and record myself doing those as well so that you can learn how to make your own good, high protein, high fiber, low sugar bars that don't have all the shit in them. So in any event, um, just wanted to fill you in, let you know how things were going. Sorry, I didn't record this properly. You have to forgive me. Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> okay, in any event, um, peace, love, and blessings. Deuces.